So today's video is going to be very helpful for the high school students and especially to the students who are completing their 12th this year because I am going to share some of the very new degrees and also they are quite in demand. So if you are someone who doesn't want to do the regular BCom, BBA, BMS and Bachelors of Engineering degrees then stay till the end because I am also going to share that what job roles you can apply for and what industries you can work for. Also, I'm going to give the courses for students coming from Commerce with Maths, Commerce without Maths, Humanities and Science A group. So let's talk about the very first degree is Bachelors of Business with a major in Financial Technology or there are some colleges that are also offering Bachelors of Financial Technology. Because of the online banking and digital currencies, there is a huge demand for the financial technologist. So in this degree, you will be studying subjects like blockchain and cryptocurrencies, digital payments, lending platforms, data analytics in finance, cybersecurity in finance, financial markets and instruments, machine learning in finance, financial regulation and compliance and many more subjects. So if you also want to, you know, uh, at a master's level, you want to do something related to data analytics, cybersecurity. Through this degree, you will also be able to pursue a master's in that area and then work for the financial industries. After graduating from this degree, the job roles that you can apply for are financial analyst, risk analyst, fintech analyst, blockchain developer, junior compliance officer or associate compliance officer, financial data scientist and more. So you can work for financial startups, investment banking firms, banking and financial institutions and payment gateways such as Google Pay, Razor Pay or Stripe. Coming to the next degree, it is Bachelors of Commerce but not the old one. It is Bachelors of Commerce with Capital Markets. And in this degree, you will be studying corporate finance, investment analysis, portfolio management, business law and accounting, stock market and trading, derivations and risk management. So if you are someone who wants to keep all your options open, for example, going into accounting, finance, investment banking, capital management, then this is a degree for you. After completing this degree, you will be able to apply for the job roles such as stockbroker, financial analyst, equity research analyst, investment banker, but an entry level job, associate wealth manager manager or junior associate wealth manager. Now the industries that you can work with, so after completing this degree you can work for industries like stock exchange, Bombay stock exchange or national stock exchange, asset management companies, banks or brokerage firms. Now the third degree is bachelors of science with a major in business data analytics. Now in this degree you will be studying subjects like business intelligent tools, Python, R for analytics, marketing and financial analytics, database management, predictive data analytics, data visualization, predictive analytics and data visualizations such as Tableau and Power BI. Now after completing this degree, the entry level jobs that you will be getting are data analyst, marketing analyst, operations analyst, business intelligence analyst and data consultant. Through this degree, you will be able to work for e-commerce, banking and finance, retail and FMCG and consulting firms as well. Now the fourth degree is BTech, Bachelors of Technology with a major in Artificial Intelligence and Machine Learning. So in this degree, you will be studying subjects like machine learning, deep learning, cloud management, computer vision, big data and cloud technologies, natural language processing, neural networks and more. And the job roles you can apply for with just a bachelor's degree are incredible. So just hear me out. AI and ML engineer, data scientist, research scientist, software developer, AI focused and NLP engineer. Now with the help of this degree, so many industries you can work for, such as technology companies of course, second banking and finance, healthcare and automotive companies as well. Now the next degree is bachelors of science research with a major in economics and finance. So in this degree you study subjects like micro and macroeconomics, corporate finance, financial market, econometrics and data analysis in economics. So this degree opens career paths for you in the field of finance data scientist, economics, public policy and many more. The job roles you will be able to apply are as a financial analyst, economic analyst, investment banking analyst, public policy analyst, research associate as well. And the industries that you can work for are government think tanks, financial firms, international organizations like World Bank, United Nations and Academia. Now let's talk about the sixth degree that is bachelors of international relations. 
in many universities it is also offered as bachelor of arts with a major in international relations so in this degree you will be studying subjects related to global politics international law diplomacy and foreign policy conflict studies global economics and comparative politics and the job roles that you can apply for are intelligence analyst policy analyst international organizations associate international ngo coordinator and diplomat but for that you will have to give the civil services exam and with this degree you will be able to work with industries like government ministries international ngos such as unicef and amnesty media and journalism and again international organizations such as world health organization and united nation the next degree is bachelor of science or bsc with a major in environmental science and sustainability now because of the global warming governments are bringing this new rule wherein each company has to be on at least 70 to 75 percent of the sustainability ratio so that's why this degree is quite in demand because the companies need sustainability experts to help tell them that how they can go more sustainable in terms of product in terms of services in terms of saving our planet so the subjects you will be studying in this program are climate change environmental policy and law gi8 remote sensing ecology and biodiversity and sustainability development and with the help of this degree you can work as a sustainability consultant which is very much in demand sustainability analyst conservation scientist and climate change analyst and you can work for industries like government think tanks private companies research institutions and sustainable focused business firms and the last degree is bachelor's of design humanizing technology now this is a very new degree so hear me out because i know a lot of students are interested into designing but they want something different apart from the interior textile and fashion so this is something that you can think about explore the option if you feel that you have interest in this field or you would like to explore it take an online course first and then you know decide to go for this bachelor's degree so in this course you will be studying subjects like ux ui design human centered design internet of things interaction design digital prototyping design thinking and technology and society the job roles you will be able to apply for after this degree are junior ux ui designer interaction designer design strategist product designer and experience researcher and with the help of this degree you can work for industries such as tech companies design studios health tech ed tech and social impact startups now i am not mentioning the universities that from where you can pursue this courses so if you would like to know about a specific course that which university you can pursue it from then just let me know in the comments that what degree are you looking for and i can try to find out some of the good universities in india and i can let you know in the comments below also i know that a lot of you are still inclined towards the traditional colleges and want to give cuet for the same but i highly recommend giving the sat exam as well because it keeps your options open in the liberal arts colleges as well because they are also very great colleges because they offer new updated curriculum that is required in the current job market and also you get flexibility of selecting your subjects the you can design your own curriculum also the admission process is quite holistic and is not just based on your entrance exam score or on your 12 score so it's a good option to keep both the options open like traditional as well as liberal arts colleges because of the given competition in india even if you have a really good cuet score many students still don't end up into university of delhi university of mumbai and all so that's wherein you can keep liberal arts colleges as your option but otherwise i would honestly recommend to go vice versa that keep liberal arts colleges new colleges as your first option and then go forward to traditional colleges so yeah ask me your questions in the comment section below i'll answer them until next time bye